everyone, hope for decay. So as promised from Sunday, today is the day that I am uploading my home office slash vlogging room tour slash little peek at my makeup collection. And so a few of you have requested to see this and I thought that as I was doing a DIY video that hopefully some of you guys would like to see where the rest of the stuff in my vlogging room's from and where I got it from and my inspiration and yeah, also stay tuned because I'm also going to be having a little giveaway in this vlog as well. Um, so make sure that you keep your ears peeled and I'll be popping all the info down bar in the down bar below, which made no sense whatsoever. I think I just mumbled up all my words, but you basically, I'm sure that you got the drift. Um, so yeah, so basically this is just going to be a tour of my home office, where I work from, where I film, where I get dressed, where I do my makeup. And I'm also going to be showing you a little peek at my makeup collection. I am going to say though that not a lot of it has changed since my last makeup collection so I'll link that down below which has a much more thorough kind of in-depth look into my makeup collection. There's not really much more to say, not much has changed, probably there's a few more bits than there was then. Um, but if you're looking for a real proper makeup collection video, look at that one because you don't really see the point in doing another one that would be identical. So yeah, let's just get started and let's show you around my little work room. So this is what you first see when you walk into my room. It's very, very small. So the door's just here and literally, it's just a full length mirror here, um, which is where I do kind of like my makeup and get changed and stuff. So as you can see, I'm currently filming. Um, and then up here, we just have um, this kind of green speech bubble, which was from Henry's background and um, from when he was making videos last summer. Um, but yeah, I put it up there for the time being. So next we move on to this little photo wall here, which I'm actually missing a Polaroid. Um, you're soon gonna discover that I like printed out Polaroids a lot. And I had some printed off, which I'll show you in a minute, but these are like the spare ones and I wasn't quite sure what to do with them. So I just kind of put them up here um, next to my mirror where I get ready. And it's just like, you know, one's a Frank, there's some inspirational quotes, which does not like saying on the wall. And um, just some holiday pictures, uh, like me and my mum, me and my sister, that one's wonky. And just me and my friends and another little inspirational quote. So next we move on to my windowsill and over here we just have this Victoria's Secret pink bag which again you're going to realise in a minute that I love Victoria's Secret bags. So in here is just a collection of Lush stuff. I've got some massage bars, I've got some um, bath bombs, these are the Valentine's ones. This one is the one that I call the uh, unicorn willy because I imagine it if unicorns had willies this is what it would look like. And so yeah, I keep them all in here because I've got quite a small bathroom and I don't want them getting all wet and ruined. Then at the back here, we have um, this marble kind of background, which is um, for blog photos. And basically it's just a black box with some marble sticky adhesive paper on it. And I just thought it was really cool because I really like the effect of marble in blog posts. And I didn't have any for marble, so I literally bought some sticky black plastic for about three pound. That was a box I had lying around the house. And presto, you've got a really nice little marble backdrop. Uh, next up here, we have this clapper board, um, which I actually got sent as part of like a press um, kind of got a gift. And I love it because I've always wanted one of these. Um, yeah. I feel like it's the wrong way. I feel like it should be like this, but yeah. I could lie and pretend that I don't do that every time I start a video, but um, who knows, who knows. Next we just have this number 7 mirror, which I do my makeup in, it's great, it lights up but it's not plugged in, and it's great for doing makeup tutorials. Um, and then at back here we just have an Ikea lantern, and then we just have some fake flowers which are from like Ikea. And the range, I think, and then finally tucked away in this little corner, hiding away is a little One Direction Harry doll. You will soon realise that I like Harry styles too. So then we move on to my desk, which is where I do the majority of my work. So first of all, we have my chair, which has a fake tan stain on, so please don't look at that too much. Um, but this is just a kind of gingham chair that I got from Ikea, which I fell in love with. And it's quite comfy too. And then underneath my desk, I have um, these boxes from Ikea that are kind of just full of crap. 
Um, so basically, like some hair tools, some nail varnish, and One Direction tissues. I'm, I'm sorry, I call them crap because they're obviously not crap at all. And then we move on to my desk. And um, so first of all, I have this lamp from the Next Sale, which I bought probably five years ago, four or five years ago, like a really, really long time ago. And then we move on to this print, which says, what would Blair Waldorf do? And I absolutely love this print so, so much. It's from Gifts and Pieces. I did have a black handwritten print saying, what would Blair Waldorf do? Which is from Wishbone Prints on Etsy. Um, I decided to get a gold foil print one because I wanted to incorporate more gold into my room. Um, so that's why I have that. Then next up we have this uh, mug from Anthropology, which has got like a nice big C on for Cory or crazy or whatever you decide. And this has just got a mixture of pencils and straws for some reason. Um, but these pencils are so cool, I have to show you them. And basically if you like Mean Girls as much as I do, these are Mean Girls themed pencils. So. They say, um, that's so fetch, I know right, uh, boo you whore, and of course the best quote from the whole film, you go Glen Coco. So yeah, absolutely amazing and I just think they're really, really cute. And those are from Gifts and Pieces as well, which I will link down below because they have loads of cute things. And then I've just got some fairy lights draped around. Um, which I love, I love fairy lights. Then we move on to my laptop. This is just the MacBook Air, which is where I do all my editing and blogging from. Um, I really, really like this MacBook, but there isn't an awful lot of space on it. So if you are thinking about getting something similar, get a bigger one because uh, I'm always filling this up with videos and it's a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Then we move on to the next side of my desk. And I just have this um, vase with some flowers in and the vase is from H&M, it was really, really cheap. Um, and then I have these flowers from the range, which I think were about five pounds, but I really liked the color and the shape of them. Then we have my gold tray, which um, the gold tray was from H&M and it had a variety of notebooks in. So basically it's got currently like a Victoria's Secret voucher, which is quite random. Um, my little gold DIY Kate Spade inspired notebook that you saw me create in my video. Um, my 2015 diary from Marks and Spencers. Um, oh, I've got this new book from um, Dana Fox and it's called 365 Blog Topic Ideas for the lifestyle blogger who has nothing to write about because recently I've been having a bit of a blog identity crisis and I just don't know where I want my blog to go and um, I've been reading a lot of this blog so I thought that um, I'd give it a go but as you can see it's got like a mixture of blog ideas and I got it from Amazon I think it was about £10 but um, I thought it was worth it if it gave me some ideas then I've got my chroma stationery if you really want something you don't stop for anyone or anything until you get it which is this Blair Waldorf inspired notebook and then finally this neon pink Aspinall uh, London Fashion Week notebook which I think is absolutely amazing um, I love the colour of this so so much and it had like all the timings for London Fashion Week which is really really cool but yeah that's amazing and this is just where I kind of keep all my notes for blogs and blog posts and I just really like it. Then we move on to probably what's my favourite part of uh, my little blogging room and this is my little Polaroid wall. I wanted something that I could look up to whilst I was working to just kind of inspire me throughout the day. So I had these Polaroids printed out from Huggle Up. Everything Polaroid related in this room is from Huggle Up. And I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway with them as where you can win your own Polaroid prints. So I'll be leaving the uh, competition details down below. Um, it's going to be held on Instagram. So make sure you check that out if you want to recreate your own kind of Polaroid wall or fairy light wall, which is what I've done. And then I've just literally draped um, some fairy lights around them. All my fairy lights, these ones are from the range. Um, these ones here are from Ikea and then the ones I'll show you in a minute are from eBay and I've literally just had a kind of mixture of things printed out. I've got like a friends and family line, I've got um, inspirational quotes, don't let idiots ruin your day, Taylor Swift lyrics, some of my favourite photos and yeah I just really like that wall and it's something really really interesting to look at. So next we move on to my memory board. 
um, which is actually like another one of my favourite bits. The Heart Actual Notice Boy, which you can't really see, is from Sass and Belle. And I just kind of, you know, put it as somewhere to put kind of memories on. So I've got a Victoria's Secret bag, what else? We've got a random Harry Styles cutout. And then there's just a mixture of like concert tickets like this one from One Direction. There's a C, key rings, a Sephora bag. There's a mixture of like uh, photos from photo booths. Um, let's see, look at this one. Can you recognize anyone? Zoom in. This is from the Look Beauty Party, like, oh my God, 2011. Can you see anyone? Recognize anyone in that photo? Spot the YouTuber. Um, and then I've got like my Cosmopolitan Blog Award, which is the card that they announced the winners from. And that's when I won a highly commended best established beauty blog. And yeah, just a mixture of things. I've got my iTunes Festival wristband from when I went to go see Five Sauce. And I've just got some like cute notes. And we have my, um, my fairy light wall, which you saw me decorate in my DIY video. So the fairy lights are from eBay and I made sure that I got extra long ones so that I could kind of do the majority of the whole wall. And I again just got Polaroids printed off from Huggle Up and I just got it. And um, also up here we have um, my kind of bunting, um, which is from John Lewis. Um, I think it was, I can't even remember which bit of John Lewis, but um, I basically wanted bunting when I moved in because I was going through a bunting phase and um, I found this from John Lewis and thought it was quite cute. So next we move over to the rest of my kind of desktop area which has um, some perfumes which are currently my favourite. This is the Marc Jacobs Olola um, and then we have the new Britney Spears uh, Rockstar uh, Fantasy. Um, which is really really nice and reminds me of being like 15 and then we have my DIY Polaroid print which you saw me do in my DIY video so again I took some black cards, some Polaroid, some washi tape and I created that and I think it looks really cool I think it looks really colourful and I'm really really impressed with it and then I've got some more fake flowers from Ikea another Victoria's Secret bag, holding crap and um, jewellery box and then some books this is just a benefit book, uh, a VIP box from benefit and then Sally Hughes, pretty honest and then just this mirror kind of little trinket box which my mum got me a couple of years ago. So in the top drawer of my mum dresser is my makeup collection and I have these separators from Ikea um, which are all floral and then I just literally have kind of all my makeup into separate categories. So for example this is the eye makeup, then over here we have like brushes and palettes and um, fake eyelashes and um, the XX one's got brushes and also my um, little lipstick lipstick kilner uh, storage which i made my everyday makeup's all in this cuff kidson uh, bag and then another victoria's secret bag which holds all the little bits so kind of skincare setting sprays and random brushes and then over here we have lips um all my lip products then this is all my blushes and bronzers and then finally highlighters because I love highlighters. So yeah, I will link down below my um, original makeup collection video because that's probably got a lot more kind of into depth about my favourite products and how I store everything and what the reasons were behind them. And yeah, then this is the foundation, concealer and powder and primer. A bit of a two in one, let's just remove these, they shouldn't be in there. Um, so yeah, there's just kind of mixture of foundations, primers, uh, powders. And yeah, this is basically my makeup collection. It does seem like quite a lot. Believe it or not, I did have a clear out not that long ago, but you would never ever tell. So this is where all my hair stuff lives. Um, I have all my hair tools, so I had my Enraptured Rollers, I've got hair dryer. Um, my GHD curves, I've got like an abundance of brushes, I've got my hair brush, hair accessories, hair product, um, and then, this is quite cool actually, I got sent this the other day and I completely forgot about it, basically it's a book all about um, kind of the best hairstyling, you know, tutorials on YouTube, and guess who's in it, uh, come on, where are you? There I am. Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, Dizzy Brunette Free, how to uh, heated rollers made easy. And it's basically just a blurb about my heated rollers tutorial, which has had so many hits. And the link to it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm in a book. Um, so yeah, I kind of just got that in there because it's got lots of hair tips and tricks. And I thought that 
that would be the best place to keep it but yeah there's literally just kind of a mixture of all sorts my favorite hair products and yeah they're just all kept in here okay so there we go there is a tour of my home office uh blogging room slash makeup collection i never know exactly what to call this i feel like a bit pretentious calling it a home office but I never really know what to say, but this is basically where I do my work and I film and I write blog posts and stuff. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed having a little look around. And I hope you also enjoyed Sunday's DIY video too. So I'm going to go now, but thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you'd enjoyed it and also subscribe too. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.